This is the new Buddy Pole Power Pro. This is an upgrade from the Power Plus and the Power Plus 2 and the Power Mini and the Power Mini 2. And this adds some extra features that we haven't seen in a charge controller from Buddy Pole before. We're going to take this into the field and give it a quick look-see. First off, before we go out there, this is wanted to do a close-up of it here. So I'm going to power this up in a minute, and I'm going to put it in the sunlight and let you see what the screen looks like in the sunlight. This is a colored screen, and you can totally see it in the sunlight. It's easier to see in the shade, as you would expect, but you can totally see this in the sunlight. It has a USB-C port right there, two Anderson ports on that side, obviously, and then the other side here is all Anderson ports as well. So we've got the battery connection right there, which is you would expect right there. The DCN, so it will take a 12-volt power supply, and it will take... A solar panel. It'll take up to 160 watt solar panel and will output to two different loads, a radio and an amplifier, a radio and a tuner or two radios, however you want to do that. It's got a nice wheel here to page through the screen. You can press this button and choose things on the screen and then page through selections on the screen and choose the selection you want. So let's take this into the field and look and see what it looks like in the sun. I'm going to take this to the hunting lease, put it on a gigaparts solar panel and go from there. I have been a huge fan of the Buddy Pole Power Mini for a long, long time. I have the original version. I have the newer version, the Power Mini 2. And I still use those charge controllers whenever I can. Whenever I need something to plug into my 150-watt gigaparts panel, that's the solar charge controller I reach for because it's top-notch. There's nothing wrong with it. It's RF quiet. I've had zero issues with RFI while running radios in the field on POTA or whatever. And I've been a huge fan of these Buddy Pole charge controllers since the very first version. So let's take this one in the field and see what it looks like. Solar panel is reading about 18.5 volts right now. Of course, the battery's topped off at 13.2, so the solar panel is not actually bringing in any wattage right now. But you can see that I'm in the shade a little bit. If I bring this into the sunlight, my hand out of the way, the camera may or may not show it, but, but you can still see the screen and make out what's going on. You can turn the knob here to go into the menus like that and go back to the main menu here. So it's somebody on 5.2. So this is working really well because what will happen here, this acts like a power gate, okay? So it's on battery, charging the battery from solar right here. This is my 150 watt gigaparts solar blanket what they call a solar blanket or just a foldable solar panel. And you can't get these anymore. I'm hoping that Gigaparts reintroduces them soon. It's part of their Explorer line. But right now you can't get these. But this would work with a power film 150 watt or anything up to about 160 watts, which is the max for this Power Pro from Buddy Pole. And it's running on the battery right now. And you could plug a 12 volt DC charger in here, like a 12 volt power supply in here. And it would charge the battery from solar or the 12 volt power supply. And then if your power went out on the 12 volt power supply, the battery would pick it up. So this acts as like a power gate that keeps your battery charged and lets you run on AC power supply, 12 volt power supply, but also has a battery backup in place for when the power goes out. I wonder if we can hear those guys. KC5 HWB and 6.52. Somebody out there, I can't hear him. He's t I think he's talking to another station that I can't hear at all. He's having a conversation with somebody else that I can't hear at all. So, But this is my setup right tonight. And if I get a chance to check into the uh, DFW Simplex net, this is what I will do it from the lease. I did that like two weeks ago, and I was using this same radio setup, but I was using a different battery. This is the battery that I keep with this radio in the Tech Ripper Man Pack. And then I have it running on an Ed Fong J-Pole right there. So this is a pretty sweet setup right here. 